YouTube, we back with another one. That's right. I'm Johnny Lord Payne. Let's get into this. Hit that like button and subscribe. And remember, hit that little notification bell. That way, every time I drop some, you stay with the smoke with me. So we got a story, YouTube. That's actually, I can say, really fucked up. Because it's coming out of Oklahoma City. Involving, uh, I cannot say it, my white friends on the white side. This story is coming out of Oklahoma City again. Involving a character named Donovan Shepard. 39 years old. A baseball coach, right? Doing good things in the community as he should. Well, this story got a, how can you say it, a fucked up turn and a horrible ending. So, which means I hope Donovan Shepard, 39 years old, I hope he get everything he deserves. And the reason why I'm saying that, I don't want to spoil it for y'all. I want y'all to actually see what I'm saying. So, what I'm saying is what he did is really fucked up. I don't want to give it away. But y'all know how I feel about certain things like rape, child predators, and fucked up shit like that. Well, I got a huge stance on that shit. Well, this guy committed one of them acts and one of them violent, heinous. Well, fuck it. I'm going to let y'all see it for yourself. Remember, I'm Lord Payne. Johnny Lord Payne, that is. Hit that like button and subscribe. Oh, yeah. And hit that notification bell. Let's get into this. Size not enough, but with that warning, here we go. A man is accused of raping his own stepdaughter, and the abuse allegedly started when she was 11. Earlier this month, 39-year-old Donovan Scott Shepard, a coach for the youth baseball team Oklahoma Aftermath, was out at a bar in Moore, Oklahoma, and that's when he allegedly got into a fight. According to police, his wife came to pick him up, took him home to Oklahoma City, and according to an affidavit, the woman went to bed, but Shepard didn't. She went looking for him, entered her daughter's bedroom, and that is when she told police she saw him raping her 12-year-old daughter, again, Shepard's stepdaughter. The woman actually held Shepard up at gunpoint until the police got there, believe that. And to make this even more horrifying, when Shepard was arrested, police say both Shepard and his wife told them that Shepard was HIV positive. When police later interviewed this young girl, she told them that Shepard raped her and that this wasn't the first time this had happened. No, she told authorities she was attacked six times starting when she was 11 and claims that he even assaulted her on her 12th birthday. Shepard is facing a huge list of felony charges, four counts of rape, two counts of lewd molestation, one count of pattern of criminal offenses, and one count of exposing others to AIDS. My last look, he's being held a $500,000 bond. Now we're going to talk about it. Let me bring in renowned journalist, predator catcher, Chris Hansen, host of Takedown on True Blue. You can check it out at watchtrueblue.com. And also he's the host of the podcast Predators I've Caught, Chris Hansen. Chris, so good to see you. Thank you so much for coming here on Sidebar. My gosh, this one, huh? You can't make that up, Jesse. Thank you for having me. I wish it was on a little cheerier subject, but that's not why you have me on, typically. So. No, I mean, I, I would love to have you on to talk about something else, but yeah, yeah this maybe is just Kelly horrifying. Yeah. This, this thing is, uh, it, it just takes predatory behavior to a whole horrifying level. I mean, think about this. This guy is HIV positive. He knows that. Um, and he... In spite of that, he, he engages in this relationship, horrifying as that is, in and of itself, with his underage stepdaughter. It's, it's mind-boggling to think about what was going on in his mind that allowed him to do this. I mean, it's, 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 it shocks the conscience on every level. I, I wanted to ask you, Chris, in your experience, in the cases that you've covered, that stepfather, stepdaughter dynamic, do you see that a lot in your experience? And what does that tell you? Here's what we see. Oftentimes, these fantasies played out on porn sites. You then see in real life. 
we just finished a sting, Jesse, this past week in Alabama. And we use this scenario in other states as well. It's not, you know, exclusive to, to Alabama, where a mother is selling her daughter for sex. And it is consistently something that predators will want to engage in. And we had a case just last Thursday night. A man showed up after negotiating with someone posing as a child's mother to meet and have sex with a teenager. We've also seen it on the other side, where a guy traveled from Indiana to Ohio to meet with sheriff's department decoys posing as a father and daughter to have sex with a 13-year-old girl. So there is this fantasy in the porn culture out there. And I think when these guys are predisposed to this activity anyway, get all caught up in the porn part of it, suddenly watching it doesn't fulfill their fantasy. And they cross this line, Jesse, between fantasy and reality. And that's when they show up at our door, or in this case, they commit this horrific crime. That, that's a really good point. I didn't even think about that. Um... I always assumed, and maybe it was the wrong way to assume, but and we look, we still don't know the more details about this. He's exactly. innocent until proven guilty. But the thing is, I have always been curious to whether or not you have people who get into relationships with somebody in order to target the, the minor that's in that household. Have well, I think that, that happens too. I think I think historically, you know, when I break down these predators into categories, one of the categories is the guy who's a hardcore like I said, I don't know what world we live in where grown ass men think it's okay to try to fuck kids and walk around smelling like little kids' booty holes. I don't know what fucking sick world we in. I don't know what community that started this, but you a fucking plague and you deserve to be put down like a fucking disease. Not even a dog. A dog have respect. You're disease. And whatever Donovan, wherever Donovan is, I hope he get everything he deserved. I hope he get tortured every night. Whatever you did to that 12-year-old, I hope they do to you every night times two. I hope they take your snacks, commissary. I hope you get shanked, poked, raped, baked. Bro, I just hope they just put you through hell. And the fact that you, you got... That pack, 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 that super pack, pack, pack. Ain't no take back from that pack. Yeah. We deserve, in some, some way, we do need a better, a better execution system. We need a better uh, death penalty. Because that, that, that shit, what they had wasn't doing it. We need some way better for people who do shit like this. This is where they got to go. Like I said, I'm Johnny Lord Payne. Hit that fucking like button and subscribe. I don't do this for my fucking health. You know? Like I said. And Donovan. Wherever, if you do die, I hope you rest in piss, bro. Now, this is from me sincerely saying this from to you, from me to you. Hit that like button and subscribe. I'm out.